Hey guys, YXPA is back, and you know what that means, it's time for another video. Today I want to talk about when we can expect to hear more tidbits and details about the Nintendo NX. As you know, there was a recent leak from Eurogamer suggesting that the NX is going to be a portable system console hybrid. However, I don't consider that to be any sort of firm details or firm information about the system. What is much more interesting to me are perhaps things Nintendo is saying about the system as well as possible information from NVIDIA or AMD about their future plans and whether or not that even lines up with some of these rumors that are out there. And thankfully there are some key dates coming up where either software developers or hardware manufacturers are going to be providing more information about their future plans and within that could include some messaging about the Nintendo NX. And then of course in the near future I would fully expect Nintendo to actually blow the system wide open and let us know exactly what it is. So thankfully I was on Twitter today and I noticed a tweet from Rosti who is a insider and significant poster on the NeoGAF forum. And he was nice enough to put together a calendar of events which could possibly house information about the Nintendo NX. And I thought I would go over each of those events and talk about the likelihood of information we could get from those events and also what kind of information we might expect. And the good thing is that the upcoming calendar gets going pretty quickly here. On August 2nd, 2016, Electronic Arts is doing their Q1 2017 earnings release and conference call. I wouldn't expect there to be too much information shared at this event about the Nintendo NX, but it is possible that they could be asked questions about their future plans for the NX and that they might actually make some comments on that. So we'll have to keep our ears and our eyes wide open. Next on the calendar, Namco Bandai is also having an earnings release and conference call on August 4th, so we should pay attention to that. Namco Bandai has been a close partner with Nintendo, and I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, again, they were asked about their plans for the NX, and we may get more details at that time. On August 5th, 2016, Square Enix will be presenting their financial results for the three-month period ending June 2016, and they're going to have a briefing as well. Typically in these briefings, they will mostly talk about the history, what's happened in the past three months, but they may also give a glimpse into their future plans. However, I think it's fairly unlikely that anything NX related will be coming out of this one. It's also interesting to note that from August 10 to August 16, Nintendo of Japan will be closed due to holidays. So I think it's completely safe to assume that we won't be getting any major news from Nintendo until after this time period. Here's where it really starts to get interesting. On August 11th, Nvidia is going to be holding their quarter two earnings release and they will be having a conference call as a part of this event as well. The thing that's nice about these conference calls is that investors have the opportunity to ask questions about NVIDIA's business going forward. And after the leaks came out from Eurogamer suggesting that NVIDIA was going to be heavily involved with the Nintendo NX and providing the chips for it, you can bet that investors are going to be asking about this. And you know, they may say nothing at all, but I think that if NVIDIA is not involved, they have an obligation to tell their investors that they should not be investing in their company 
based on this false information. Similar to how Nintendo wanted to make it clear that the benefits that they would reap from Pokemon Go was lower than what investors were expecting. And that did make the stock go down a little bit, but in the long run you're better off having integrity. So you never know, we may get confirmation that Nvidia is not involved with NX's future in a very short period of time, which would to me be confirmation that the whole Eurogamer leak has some serious holes. As we keep rolling forward through time, things are going to really, really start to heat up as we get closer and closer to the reveal of the NX. The next big event is going to be Gamescom convention from August 17 to 21st. And Nintendo is definitely going to be making some sort of an appearance there. Nintendo will exhibit and Breath of the Wild will also be playable for a select crowd. There's definitely been rumors out there that Nintendo is planning to unveil the system. However, my personal bias is definitely leaning towards Nintendo holding their own event. I'm not really concerned too much about them competing at this point. Competing at Gamescom isn't like competing at E3. Okay, you know, there's going to be definitely some announcements that come out of there, but if Nintendo announced the NX at Gamescom, they definitely would be the story of Gamescom. But I just think that Nintendo's preference is to just do their own thing. However, anytime they show up at an event like this, there is the chance that they might actually show off the NX behind closed doors and they may end up giving us some more vague and misleading statements about what the NX is going to be. Here's one that I'm really excited for, only because of the rumors that NVIDIA is going to be powering the Nintendo NX and that the Nintendo NX is going to be a hybrid system. On August 21st to 23rd, there's an event going on called Hot Chips. Hot Chips is an event that takes place every year in Silicon Valley since 1989. It's basically the E3 of the semiconductor industry. It's becoming more and more important and some really decent news actually comes out of this event. And NVIDIA will be making a presentation about the Tegra's next system on a chip, which is exactly the technology that would potentially be going into a NX hybrid system. So based on what they share about it, we may have some very good inclinations about how suitable this SOC would really be for a Nintendo handheld console hybrid. If they don't announce an unexplained design win, then there's a good chance that they're not involved with Nintendo at all, and particularly if they announce specs like how many watts they're able to get a Tegra system on a chip down to. And if it's still in the 10 to 15 watts range, I think it's very safe to assume that it won't be used in any kind of a Nintendo handheld because Nintendo has always been a big fan of battery life and they're not going to release a system where you can play only 45 minutes of Breath of the Wild on it before it has to be plugged in. On August 22nd, Nintendo will be closed again, so that's another day that you're not going to get any news whatsoever from Nintendo. Now we get into September, in fact, September 15th to 18th the Tokyo Game Show will be taking place. Now, I would assume that Nintendo will be unveiling the NX in September just because that's the most logical time. If they wait much later than this, the system will already be in production in order to make a March launch time. And I would imagine they'll want to unveil the system right before it goes into production to avoid too many leaks. So I guess the jury is still out on whether or not Nintendo will unveil the system before or after Tokyo Game Show. It would be nice if they unveiled it first because that would allow some third parties to show off NX games at Tokyo Game Show, but Nintendo themselves rarely, if ever, make an appearance at the Tokyo Game Show. It's just an event that's very tailored towards the Japanese market, and I think Nintendo typically likes to have their own events, or they like to be at an event where they're really reaching a worldwide market with their content. Okay, so in late October, Nintendo will be having a corporate management policy briefing and a semi-annual financial results 
briefing. I would fully assume by this time that Nintendo would be very free to talk about the NX and you'll get a lot of investors asking questions about the NX. There will probably definitely be some NX information coming out of this meeting, however I'm not sure how much it matters at that point because I would fully expect that we will have a lot of details about the system at that time. So, you know, we've been waiting a very, very long time. I remember waiting a very long time after Nintendo announced the revolution until we got more details on it. I think for about a year, the best we got was a demonstration of people holding Wii remotes, but we didn't actually get to see the games. And we're coming to that point where all of our waiting and all of our patience is about to start paying off because I think that in the next month to month and a half, we are going to have a lot of questions answered. Those are my thoughts on this upcoming calendar of potential NX information. If you have any questions, please feel free to respond to this video. And if you like this video, click like. And as always, please subscribe.